Well, I've always had an interest in uh, wildlife. Um, I was a head of an outdoor education centre for tw over 20 years. And um, obviously one sees what's going on around you. Uh, and the red squirrel population was an important part of that uh, and still is. Um, way back in the sort of late 80s, it was apparent that we were beginning to get an influx of greys. Um, talking to one of the local landlords, um, his lordship uh, reckoned it was in the early 90s, I think it was the late 80, 80s, that he was told that uh, once the grey squirrels arrived on his estate, uh, in 10 years there won't be, wouldn't be a red in the area. Now, uh, I saw a grey squirrel in 91 on, on his land and uh, the, since then uh, we've managed to hold on to the reds on his estate. That's the Berwick um, squirrel group and the Wooler one. Uh, yes, I mean any indigenous species get, it, it matters, no matter what it is. Um, and it's the invasive species that cause the problems with it because obviously they, they they can't survive i mean for instance pine martins haven't got a, a good good cause but pine martins and the red squirrels have side by side for an awful long time and we're beginning to get pine martins back into uh, Northumberland. no it, it, it doesn't i mean a, a red squirrel comes in about 500 grams and a gray squirrel comes in about 750 grams so if you put them side by side, there's, there's, there's no, and um, for the first time ever, we're actually filling this year, grey squirrels actually chasing red squirrels away from feeder boxes, um, which is a sign that, you know, they, they, they do bully them and they do compete for food and they, they win, um, and, and the red just basically runs off. I, I think it's very important. Um, I mean, I'm well into my retirement age now. Uh, I have a two-year-old um, niece, and unless we have something, as this project is hopefully going to produce, by the time she's my age, she'll be doing exactly the same as I'm doing now, because the problem won't solve itself. We need a, a, a new solution to actually sort the problem out. It's probably easier if you're going to provide a contraception than culling. Um, you do get people who are definitely against culling. Um, and we also compete for the likes of shooting estates who don't like people on, the, on their estate, uh, no matter what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the, the, the actual damage a grey can do compared with the red is, is, is you know, beyond belief. <laughs> well, um, I've, I've uh, recently seen a tree with the bark stripped off it to a height of about five foot from the ground and then up, up above uh, for another sort of two or three feet. Uh, hopefully that Northumberland uh, and the rest of the country slowly become red again. We reverse what happened in the 40s when the, 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 the grey spread north. I mean, I'm saying the grey spread north, it was only, I say, in the early 90s when they started to spread into Northumberland. Uh, and ho hopefully we'll achieve, in the not too distant future, a complete red Northumberland.